Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you with another video on the stupid Hardy Boys. Uh, well, this isn't really on the Hardy Boys. It's part of the Hardy clan. Uh, it's mostly on Shane Helms. It's funny how both the uh, two guys of this whole clique would screw up this bad in a matter of, you know, just one night. Uh, last night, basically, at the pay-per-view for uh, TNA, uh, Jeff Hardy was backstage in uh, a condition not fit uh, to compete. Um, TNA basically had to get him to the point where they were able to believe that he could compete, but there are rumors out there that he was either drunk or under the influence um, before the show started. Very unprofessional. I, I couldn't believe that TNA would even put him out there. Um, I read on uh, NoDQ.com that they even came to the point where they thought they were going to take him off the card and they were going to go with a three-way match of Matt Morgan, um, Ken, or well, Mr. Anderson. I'm not really going to stop calling him uh, Ken Kennedy. And uh, Jeff Jarrett in a three-way dance for the title. Uh, no no idea how that would have gone down. Um, I don't know. Probably Jeff Jarrett would have got it so he would have kept the title in Immortal. But uh, I don't know. Uh, Mr. Anderson's going to get that title sooner or later for TNA. He's probably the hottest thing going for them in my mind. But um, back to the main uh, title of the video. It's Shane Helms just, I don't know, basically committing career suicide. Um, but then again, his career is pretty much over since his release. I've seen a few videos of him wrestling independence, but uh, TNA hasn't touched him, and this is one way of just admitting that you never want to go back to WWE um, basically ever in your life. Um, he goes after one of the legends of the business uh, from our lifetime. Um, he's going after Shawn Michaels. I couldn't believe the stuff he says. He hosts a, um, a, it's a weekly you know, webisode, sort of like a podcast, blog TV sort of thing where... Um, it's called Highway to Helms, and basically he goes after Shawn Michaels when he's asked who the most overrated um, uh, wrestler is of all time, and he, he just he calls he calls him the biggest hypocrite in the business. He says that the whole religious gimmick is a fucking work. Um, I don't know. I, I I really believe that Shawn Michaels really is the Christian that he says he is. That um, I don't think this is a work. I don't understand why he would go after somebody as big as Sean is. Like, if he's trying to just make a name for himself, maybe he's trying to get his show over. It really doesn't make any sense at all to me. He tells a story about how um, Shawn Michaels was, was just running down Chris Jericho one time in the back and catering in front of everybody. Basically, shit's going to happen, and you don't need to bring that crap up. Uh, basically, everybody knows about, you know, Sean's problems. You know, basically getting all getting along with other people in the back. He's not the easiest to get along with in the back. But I'd never really heard anything bad about him since his return um, to the WWE after his absence. Uh, basically, he got clean and sober, uh, got Christian, and uh, you know he moved along. And basically, if him and Jericho got in a you know a skirmish in the back and you know no punches were thrown, it's not really a big deal to bring up years later, just trying to get yourself over. And then he goes to the point where he calls. Shawn Michaels, a, cr a cockeyed, cross-eyed son of a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> you know, one when, when of Shawn's uh, eyes does lean a little bit. Um, but I just couldn't believe the lengths he went just to run Shawn Michaels into the ground. The only thing that I could, you know, get out of this is that he's just trying to get his podcast over. He's trying to get, you know, get himself bigger than it is, just to make that little bit of buzz. Um, uh, the Hardys um, aren't my favorite people in the world. But, uh, you know, at one, time, at one point I, I really was a huge uh, Hardy Boys fan. I've gone to the lengths to say that uh, Hurricane Helms, uh, the Hurricane, was one of my favorite wrestling characters of all time. Not my favorite wrestler, but, you know, my favorite in-ring character that, that I followed for a long time. I've got a lot of Hurricane merch uh, throughout the household. And, um, I don't know, I was, I was, I was um, um, Two of my friends, Miguel and Luke, they're going down to Wrestle Reunion. He was going to be there. I was actually going to send one of my figures down there to get signed. Uh, how big of a fan I was uh, uh, of, um, of Hurricane. But he goes to the point where he calls Michaels one of the biggest drug users in the history of the business who snorted more coke and done more steroids. You know, everybody has their own sins, man. But, you know, you only throw stones, you know. You know, when you don't, you know, you don't have anything on you. Everybody's got something hidden in the closet, Shane. So I was just surprised that he would go to this. So this, this is just another video about the hurricane. Uh, you know, just that whole Hardy clan from the Carolinas just letting everybody down. I couldn't believe that he would go to these lengths. So um, 
he let me down, you know. So everybody else, let me know uh, what you feel about this. I just bummed. I just, I'm actually more stunned.